Hey guys, I am making a video to give you a little bit of a conversation piece about Romeo and Juliet before I do the reading later. So one of the things that I wanted to point out and still do is the tone that something has. It's not just what you say, it's how you say it, okay? And one of the biggest issues with reading a play is you lose a lot of how it is said. Not just what is said, but how it is said. It's an O. What are you going to do with it? Well, with an O, you can say a lot of things, a lot of different emotions, anger, joy, surprise. In a Shakespearean play, it's often part of an exclamation. Oh dear, oh my, oh Romeo. Oh. Seriously though, the manner in which you say it changes. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. It changes the emotion of what is said. How it is said. The oh dear never changes. Subtext is an underlying and often distinct theme in a piece of writing or conversation. So don't forget, a theme is the main idea or point of what you are doing. So whenever you're looking at a subtext, one of the things, um, think about your text messages. All right. What is the sub subtext? of your latest text message with the person that you are interested in. Do you call your friends and say, I don't know what this message means? Well, yeah, you do. You can read it. You know exactly what it means. But in reality, there's more to it than just what it says. Right? So there's an underlying and often distinct theme that is there in the way you say something as much as what you were saying. Ooh, I'm important. So at the lunch table today, your buddy has three chocolate cookies. You say, are you going to eat all of those? There is the question of, are you really going to eat three chocolate chip cookies? But the way I said it, now you know I'm interested in at least three of those three chocolate chip cookies. Whereas, are you going to eat all of those? Look, dude, we've talked about it. You got 20 pounds before you hit maximum awesomeness. You can do it. Hold out against the chocolate chip. The general character or attitude of a piece, place, or a place, a piece of writing, situation, etc. Actors can vary the tone of their voices to alter the meaning of a text. So here's where this gets wonky. How in love are Romeo and Juliet? Depends on who is portraying them. The way you have it in your head is different than what someone else has in their head. It really doesn't matter what they're saying as much as how they are saying it. So back to O. So I'm not, obviously I'm not going to ask anyone to volunteer, but O? Confusion. Oh. 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 Seriously, every time you're asked to clean your room. Oh. 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 The way
way you say it matters. It matters in the play. It matters in real life. The way you say it matters. Now, what you say and how you say it both matter, almost in equal amounts. As an example of that, oh, who could I pick on today? Preston. Oh yeah, Preston. He's really popular and he's really good at basketball. Everyone likes him. What I said sounded really positive. The way I said it, really sarcastic. So now you have to balance between the two. Which is it? Are you being mean or are you being nice but saying it wrong? And obviously, Preston, you're amazing at basketball. Stay strong. Get them hoops. I didn't go with Zane because it seemed too obvious. So, I want you to try this at home. Read the line emphasizing the word in green. I'll go through it the first time. I never said she stole my money. Now, that means I didn't say she stole the money. Somebody else said she stole the money. That girl has a pickpocketing problem. I never said she stole my money. I never said she stole my money. Now, I'm going to go through the rest of them. Obviously, we're going to go through the rest of the lines, but I want you to legitimately say it out loud in the video. Okay? So, I'm going to have a blank spot right here. I want you to fill in the part of the conversation. Ah, so in this one, maybe she didn't take the money, or maybe she got it legitimately. Ah, now it's someone else's. And now it's not necessarily money. It's a valuable or something else. The way you emphasize the word changes the meaning of what is happening. Just like the classic all-time line of, it's time to eat, grandma, comma. It's time to eat, grandma, no comma. Punctuation matters. Emphasis, how you say it, matters. So, play with the stress and tone to vary your delivery of the line. I'll go through two examples of each one of these some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. Not many, some of each of those. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. Well, now it's an action. It doesn't matter how many, it's the manner in which you achieve it, the manner in which you come by greatness itself. It matters. Wisely and slow. They stumble that run fast. Well, now it seems like take your time. Think about it. Wisely and slow, they stumble that run fast. Now it's more about making sure that you pay attention to where you're going. It's not necessarily your pace. Or a third, wisely and slow, they stumble that run fast. Now the emphasis goes back to the slow, being methodical. It changes it. It changes the character that's saying it. Because now, that character has to be capable of saying it. An example of this would be Zane. I love basketball. He likes basketball a lot, maybe too much. I love basketball. Now, it's all about the sport. 
it's not about him it's about the sport it's about the method the madness the craziness of making those split second decisions do i pass do i shoot how do i interact with this blocker ahead of me what about the point guard what about going around the and hooking inside what about being in the key am i too long in here can i push past what are my limitations all of these elements can be played with i love basketball this is a personal choice maybe it's not even just basketball maybe it's sports in general but it's my love that i'm referring to hell is empty and all the devils are here by putting that emphasis there now you're picturing darkness hellfire all of these other things hell is empty and all the devils are here now you're picturing the demons themselves is it the place that's important or is it the denizens the citizens of hell that make it so twisted and wrong is it the place or is it the people if it's the people now we are in hell because the place doesn't matter it's the people that makes it so terrible love all trust a few do wrong to none to thine own self be true know who you are and be worthy of note <sighs> love all trust a few and wrong to and do wrong to none now instead of focusing on the people that i would have done the wrong too i'm focused on avoiding the wrong period if i'm worried about the people i need to worry about their sense of wrong wrong no one wrong to none but if i'm focused on the wrong i use my judgment on what is wrong over here I give a C to what deserved an F because they are graduating soon. Over here, I give an F because my sense is they did not earn it. So I have done nothing wrong, but I might have wronged them. How you say it changes what you were saying. All that glitters is not gold. All that is shiny and beautiful doesn't necessarily mean it's good. All that glitters is not gold. But now I'm focused on what actually is valuable. It's those little twists in meaning. That's the difference between we're going out on Friday and we're going out on Friday. One of them is, oh yeah, we're going out. That second one it just happens to be on Friday. The first one, though, is it is a unique instance on a unique day. Remember those text messages we talked about? You think you don't already do this? You think you're not already worried about what does that mean? Now, with text message culture and things like that, it's not considered unusual to be blunt and to come out and just say, what are you talking about? <laughs> Guys, this is the wording. I'm going to do my best to put no emphasis on it. I really like you. 
The girl you have a crush on just sent that to you. Now, how did you read it? I really like you. Or I really like you. It's a big difference. One is, we need to go out. One is, you're going to be the friend I call whenever the guy stands me up. Girls. The guy texts you. He's hunky. He's hot. You're down. And he sends you a t after you've messaged him back and forth for a little while. He goes, well, you know, I think that's a good idea. 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 Or I think that's a good idea. How do you read it? Changes it. Could change it a lot. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other word would smell as sweet. Names are unimportant. Doesn't really matter. The name becomes the thing because the thing is still the thing. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other word would smell as sweet. different now we're not worried about the name now we're worried about the item the course of true love never did run smooth real love should be fought for the course of true love never did run smooth true love never did run smooth. False love can be easy, but real love? You gotta fight for that. You gotta fight with it sometimes. This, above all, to thine own self be true. Honesty. Self-honesty. This, above all, to thine own self be true. All. Of all the things you have to be honest with yourself. <clears throat> but which direction are you looking? And we'll move on. That is my little lecture on tone. All right. It is important to keep in mind how you are reading Shakespeare. Because let's be honest, the way you read Shakespeare matters. You're going to find out that some of you are going to look at Romeo and be like, yeah, get this guy. Some of you are going to look at Romeo and go, what is this guy's problem? My God, he is so over the top dramatic. Where are you putting the emphasis? You're both correct. That's the beauty of it. So, that's what I got. I'm also going to go ahead and upload an Act 2 reading today. Um, so, I'm going to uh, upload that soon. Okay? And uh, we'll go from there. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay sane. Ish as much as you can maybe oh i'll tell you on the on the rest of it i'll see you guys in a little bit